100 run lead, I reckon. Especially after today. So we should win this test. It'll be alright. The fourth test in the 2013 Ashes series in England was to be played at Chesterler Street, the first Ashes test for this Durham County ground. This is a great adventure to put Chesterley Street on the map. Chesterley Street always seems to get left out, albeit it is part of County Durham. And yet by the same token, um, we've got all these people coming today, a five day match. It's absolutely brilliant. There's always that sense of anticipation on the first morning of a test, with plenty of commentary on the state of play in the previous test at Old Trafford, where rain washed out any chance of a result. The weather again looked threatening on the first morning, but in among the media scrum in the middle, Alastair Cook won the toss and England batted first. deep square leg. It proved to be a mediocre total, giving the Aussies some hope for a first innings lead. These are the members of the Serious Cricket Watchers Association, a group of brothers and their friends who've been coming to test matches for more than 30 years. For the Durham test, they've rented farm cottages, so it's about a 20 minute drive through the countryside to get to the ground. But the serious business starts earlier in the day, preparing the mountain of sandwiches that will provide sustenance over the three sessions. Ham and tomato with mayonnaise, beef with horseradish, egg with mayonnaise, cucumber, celery, and cumin, good old standard British pork pies. Cricket is an excuse to eat sandwiches, because as everybody knows, cricket is the only game you can play and put on weight at the same time. The whole lunchtime routine at the tests in England is quite a ritual. While many bring their own sarnies, the catering vans provide a variety of English and Aussie fare. And you wouldn't be in England unless you joined a nice long queue. Of course, a beer is worth the wait. Meanwhile, the serious cricket watchers get stuck into all those sandwiches. Back at the cricket, Chris Rogers scored a maiden test century as Australia faltered early but eventually gained a first innings lead of 32. These days, it seems that dressing up is part of the deal. Quite a collection of weird and wonderful costumes. Surely they can't be very comfortable all day. England's second innings was again dominated by Ian Bell, with some useful hitting down the order. Australia need 299 to win, with more than a day to play. At the moment it's quite tight, but uh, I still think England's got it. Just... 3-0, 3-0. We're going to take it 3-0. But it wouldn't be cricket in England without a rain delay. Anyway, time for a cuppa. The locals have their own way of sledging Michael Clarke. And of course, the impromptu game of cricket out the back. Play soon got underway, and at 138 for one, and Warner going great guns, Australia looked well placed. 
At least the serious cricket watchers thought so. Looks like they've given up. But then, that dramatic final afternoon of day four. Yes, he's given him. Surely out is out, absolutely plum. No reviews left on either side. You don't need a review for that. Yeah. Oh, that's out. Full and straight. Broad has 10 in the match. Yeah. Loved straight to mid off. That's it. That's the wicket that England needed. England take the fourth test by 74 runs to go up 3-0 in the series.